Can I get something to drink? I'm not laughing here. Just please go first. I ask you that. How we got here, though, the court would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the efforts that resulted in you being here today, Mr. Bowery. Uh, the cooperative effort from law enforcement in an incredibly difficult technical investigation between the Warren Police Department, Detroit Police Department, Bloomfield Hill, and supporting agencies, uh, Detective Tredeschi's efforts. An incredible investigation, complex. And the reason I mention that is because efforts were made by the defendant here, Mr. Bowery, to conceal your identity through this process, and only through the diligence of the investigative, investigatory agencies that we had produced the evidence that was necessary for this to go forward. And the court uh, recognizes, too, the manner in which the evidence was presented. It was done coherently, logically, in a manner So that those viewing the technical aspects of this evidence could appreciate and comprehend all that went into it, and uh, the prosecution, the court acknowledges for the uh, manner of presenting the evidence to this jury. It is the obligation of this court in imposing sentence to consider the punishment, rehabilitation, and need to protect society, as well as deterrence of similar offenses and individualized sentencing and imposing sentence. The nature of this crime, well, let me let you allocate first. Please, please. Can I, sir, uh, Judge, like can I please get some water? I'm, I, I literally need, I can't breathe. All right. I mean, all due respect, sir, he can sit down. What? He can sit down. I, I, don't, okay. I don't need him here. Your Honor, I would ask that the defendant be addressing the court and not the gallery. I don't think it's appropriate. I, I actually think it's up to the family. They should know the truth. Just allocate. Okay. Madam Prosecutor, he can face the wall if he wants. Thank you. I do want everybody to know I am not here laughing or making a joke out of this at all. The hardest thing I've ever had to do is sit here and keep my chin up through the impact statements. It was unbearable. I appreciate your passion, even though your passion is directed towards me. I will be getting into great detail of September 30th, 2020. It will be shocking. <clears throat> Your Honor, Judge, I will not disrespect your courtroom, but more importantly, I will not disrespect the victims and the victim's family. It's been 21 months. They deserve the truth. So does my family. Job, your, judge, your job is vital in many ways to make sure that these prosecutors and these detectives are not acting in above the law manner, which is really an uphill battle when both sides are hiding the truth.
page 356, 350, 357 of my, dis my discovery packet. I'm pretty sure they know what this is. Officer in charge, Detective Corps, Corporal Jim Twardeski, badge number 472. That's him right there. Request warrant. See attachment one. Let's see attachment one. Please, please. I am not disrespecting nobody here, I promise you. I will get I will get into de great details of September 30th. I'll take their evidence and everything they hid and we'll put it together. Further investigation showed We're not gonna retry this case. I'm not I'm I'm speaking during the course of the trial. I understand. We are not doing that here today. I know. I'm telling them what happened on September 30th. They deserve to know. Well, you're going to do it without reference to the reports or reference to the manner. Of well, to get to the truth, you must. You just say what you know. Of sure. September 30th. No problem. I will. Do that and move forward. I know. I have to, Judge. This is my my right to allocute. Yeah. Your right Further to allocute is limited. I am not going through this whole trial. So now you allocute with respect to your sentencing here today. I am. Okay, That's exactly what I'm doing. But for them to know the truth, they have to know what was what was going on here. Further investigation, so no, Takoya Moore was last known alive in my driveway. Surveillance system obtained from my home shows Takoya Moore and me leave together on 930. They know, they know nobody gets shot and killed in my All driveway. Right. Right. So they need to know the truth. Yeah. The family, the whole world needs okay. to know the truth. Stop. I'm, I'm going to tell you Stop. everything. Stop. No. We are not going through. Okay, I won't. I won't. You want to talk to me about what you did or why I shouldn't send it to you. Okay. So I am limited on what I allocute. Is this what's going on here? And we're not going to go through the evidence. I know, but I have a right to allocute. You do. Allocute. So, so I am. I'm trying to, but I'm getting interrupted. This is a search warrant that this man swore into under oath Don't in another judge, in, an, in another Sorry. proceeding. No, not going to and then with that. disregard for the truth. The I'm not speaking on the search warrant, sir. You're not letting me speak. I'm trying to speak. You guys cannot know the truth unless I speak. I am getting stopped for reasons. I know. You guys have to let well, me speak. I listen to you guys. And as difficult as it is to hear him go through this process, if we go through this process, we're going to have to endure some. And I appreciate we just in this opportunity and let's move on. Not going through this comment on each aspect of this investigation that was done during the trial. And that's why I fired my attorney. I, look, you can deal with that some other point. How? This is my last proceeding. No, you know there's, you've already indicated. Yeah, but I am innocent and I can explain the whole case from front to no, black. No, stop. You're not going to explain the whole case. So, what, you're just going to sit here and say I did it? When there's lies going on in this courtroom, they know no. the truth. They're the jury, sitting right the there. Jury determined you did. The jury got bamboozled. Now that's for another court to decide. How? This court is not the family deserves to know. They, they have heard the evidence in this case. Now, uh, am, I, am I not allowed to allocute, Leo? You're not allowed to go further with discussion of the evidence. Okay. Right? You want to talk about something else? Okay, well, this detective, Jim Twardeski's report, uh, he, he di uh, with disregard for the truth, he lied at my trial. I'm going to explain why. The beginning of the investigation, he was telling the truth because he was under the impression that he was going to get some relief from the ballistic report, from the DNA and the forensic report. That was very clear uh, clear, clear in, uh, early on that that detective was in some choppy waters. No, no. no. Well, I'm, I'm telling you what happened here. No, you're not telling me what happened. Okay. Well, I'll just get right to it then. And then we can go back to that.
Mrs. Evans? I did want to write you back in the beginning. I did, honestly. But please understand, it was an active case, a case very political in the streets. But now, I'll speak the truth. I will not shy away from no aspects of it. September, th we'll go to September 29th or 28th, 2020, my surveillance system from my home shows Tokoyo Moore back from West Virginia, pulls in my driveway. I hop in with a backpack that is light. Mrs. Evans, when, you, when I hop out, you can tell the money has the backpack looking heavy because there was enough money in that backpack to buy a boatload to be exact. We're gonna fast forward now, September 30th, 2020. I put that backpack in the Kia, I get in, I put my seatbelt on and then we're gone. Mrs. Evans, that prosecution wants you to settle for where that detective's investigation stops cold in my driveway. But getting to the truth, you must get past the lies. The prosecution's begging you to believe what you don't see. I'm begging you to make them explain. These government officials know Tokoyo Moore does not get shot and killed in my driveway, period. So ask them for Tokoyo Moore's top ten list, his call volume for his second phone, his third phone, his fourth. You will then know who Tokoyo Moore is communicating with all night. You'll know the whens, the whos, the whys. The snakes that slither are not really thinkers, Mrs. Evans. They're mistakers. It was very well documented we were had ties out of state. Ties the sourcing company, ties the narcotics, ties the boats, ties the Canada, they know. We were under investigation for months prior. The undercovers, the narcos heckling every chance they got. Then lucked up, they found the gun in Tokoyo's truck, so we switched up rental cars and we consistently switched up communications. There was many, many phones. Yeah, I, it'll, it'll get real, it'll get, it'll, it'll, everything will be understood very, very clear here. But the night the undercover got the gun from Tokoyo's truck, they were really looking for a shipment that came in from Ontario. They know. They had our routes. They discovered our trackers, the GPS trackers that were attached to our shipments of boats. Boatloads coming from Canada, to be exact. Mrs. Evans, you must understand the mindset to understand the facts of evidence to truly understand the night. The boats, the gas station trips. I asked that gas station clerk how she's doing. She says, tired. I said, me too. Just last preparations for a boating mission. Then the GPS got the Kia at a boat dock waiting for a shipment. These are not difficult facts. It's just facts the prosecution must shy away from because that detective's investigation stops cold in my driveway. <clears throat> Mr. Prosecutor, whatever happened to Kevin Litt? Mrs. Evans, Tokoyo, Kevin Litt is Tokoyo Moore's neighbor from Warren that reported gunshots at 1 a.m. But that detective couldn't explain the timeline because the GPS got the Kia at a boat dock. So he has a bright idea to assemble a huge team with scuba divers to the boat dock searching for the three murder weapons, six phones, a backpack, and a boatload of narcotics. With results negative, he just hides it and disguises it. This next discovery is just confusing, period. But it's another neighbor with surveillance system that points to Tokoyo Moore's home. The footage is so suspicious. The su I'm telling the truth. I don't know what you're telling. Do you, you guys want to hear it? Stop. Stop. No, we don't. Please. It sounds to me that you may be confessing other wrongdoing. <laughs> I'm not sure. And then that, I'm not sure. And that gets but it to is the not truth. Relevant it's very relevant. This is the night. So this on. man, okay. The man swore under oath that he's get, that the Tokoyo Moore mean get in the car and leave together. Those are facts. He swore under oath. We all heard the testimony. Move on. Well, we actually didn't. We have the police files right here, page three fifty six and three fifty seven. Okay. Move on. Okay. Uh, I will be doing this since I am representing myself here today. Um, uh, judge, I did file my own motions. Uh, my very expensive attorney couldn't find the time, I believe, for obvious reasons. Uh, I did send the prosecution my motion. I sent you a copy also, sir, through Zoom. Uh, my uh, Mr. Carmen DeFranco was complaining and moaning that my motion was not in the format he would like. Uh, I, 
I, I believe he shied away, I believe for obvious reasons, but he's probably right. Honestly, I did not go to college for law school. I went for business, which now I realize is a huge mistake. But judge, my motions are very real. I will verbally file my motions to satisfy this prosecution no, and to put it on record. You are not filing a motion today. You're concluding your sentencing. Today. I am putting everything you on record. Post-conviction opportunity to file any motion you want. That is not why we're here today, and I'm not going to hear a motion that's be not before the court. Now you will move on as to your allocution relative to your sentence, period. Move on. You have nothing further to say? Oh, I have something. I, I am speaking here, sir. I just don't understand how I keep getting interrupted in my allocution. I don't. I make it clear. Well, you're not letting me speak at all. I mean, I think for obvious not reasons. Hear your motions today, which you're attempting to do. We're not doing that. We're not revisiting the evidence. Allocute relative to this court sentence. Well, you're telling me what to allocute then. How does why that make sense? You, why shouldn't you spend the rest of your life in prison? Because I didn't do it, and I can explain it. Well, you could have done that. No, you knew the truth, the no, judge. You knew. No. You knew that man lied under oath at another courtroom and you let him get on the stand, narrate a video and not the things I'm not doing. How is that fair? How is that justice? Yeah. You know the truth, I guess, obviously, and you're hiding it. Maybe because you have ties to Warren. You had your stop. 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 The man lied under oath. I am not on surveillance camera shooting Tokoyo Moore. It's a non-argument. Right. Period. I have surveillance footage proof. My my footage is not heavily doctored. Excuse me, I'm allocated. Right here. My footage is not my footage is not heavily doctored. I got all the pixels. It's not slow to the point the car stops, and so does the time. I have proof. I don't know what the purpose is. I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now. It is not for you to request a new trial, to argue the evidence. The purpose of the allocution today is for you to convince me, which I don't think... How? You're not letting me talk. Uh, we're going to go forward with sentencing. Well, hold on. Okay, well then, I, I guess I'll say my last allocution. I have nothing to do with that. Uh, I'll abandon that uh, line of, uh, I guess, allocuting. Um, I just want uh, everybody to know the world that I did not get convicted because of facts and evidence that proved beyond reasonable doubt. I got convicted because the world got persuaded by the power of tragedy and then their lies. And for the sake of the news made me the face of a triple murder, a kid killer. I am not ruthless like these officials that mastered the laws of deception. Liberty and justice is an illusion. So miss me with these claims that our judicial system uh, cherishes each individual. I dispute that. I was the fall guy, the scapegoat. So these government officials can nail some political points for personal gains while taking their kids to school. The message to me is clear. Grow up. It's a brutal world. Reasonable doubt is now reasonable lies and secrets. But we're not Russia. We're America. We have rights. Independence Day. We fought wars. And countless men and women have sacrificed for the greater good, laid down their lives for these exact principles. Where is this integrity unit when it's a necessity, this innocence project, when I'm the bleeding definition of innocence? I am not on camera shooting to Koyo Moore. I never shot my friend, period. It's a non-argument. I have surveillance footage proof. My proof, my surveillance footage is not heavily doctored. I still have all the pixels. It's not slowed down to the time, the point the car stops, and so does the time. And news to the media, this is not a movie. This is my life. This is not a soundtrack to 8 Mile. You got one shot, one opportunity, or is it? September 20, September 30th, 2020 was a setup, a jack move. I should have died that night. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know what God has in store for me in particular, but these past 20 months have been hard ones. The accusations stung. It stung real bad, but the guilty verdict? Now I know I have a tough, tough journey ahead of me. But like my brothers and sisters before me, I'm going to fight and claw for my liberty. Then, 
Then, Mrs. Evans, the family, then we'll get our vengeance, our redemption, because I will not shy away from it. I'm going to face that team head on. I'm going to put my best work in, and then I'm going to move on. That's my mindset moving forward. And now that I understand how this courtroom is conducting, uh, Judge, I will say this. I have absolutely no faith in our judicial system at all. Uh, I understand the sentence. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's death. That's what I'm about to get sentenced to for a crime I didn't do. No, so... It, it is it is death in its purest form, and I'm innocent, and I can explain everything, but I guess I can't get the chance. I am not on camera shooting Takoya Moore. It's a non-argument. How could you sit there and even say that? You have paperwork that shows you you know that doesn't happen. How is this fair? This is not fair. Okay, go ahead. Sentence me to natural life for the stuff I didn't do, and I have uh, evidence I can prove, but I can't get a word out. Go ahead, Judge. You did a great job. You know what happened here. The man lied under oath. Under oath. How do you get around that? That's we're police done. perjury. It's absolutely disgusting how these, these government officials are conducting trials lacking honesty. Stop. You're done. You're done. It's going to be all over the news, Judge. I have facts. You have facts. Wow. Yeah, yeah, That's facts. Fine. He knows I didn't kill him. Good. That's your report. That's what you, you spit out talk. your mouth. You Go ahead. I, I am ready then. You know, like I told I you, that. sir, I am innocent. I, know you, I, know you I am innocent. I know you want to say that wasn't you at the gas station buying the gas. Yeah, it was, and I can explain I the whole that. thing. I know you want to explain. You didn't even I listen, I guess. I know you want to explain how it wasn't you walking through. I can. I, I know you want to explain all that. I have you no have problem. I can step in the middle of this courtroom you with that detective, those prosecutors. You could bring their whole roster, and I'll now. guide every single one of them into some heavy, heavy questions and heavy strikes. And the whole Counts. world will witness them making some strange noises in the middle of this courtroom Counts. because their theory one, will be KO'd stiff. Three, all due respect, I would bully five, them in their own profession. Stop it. I would absolutely toy with them. And I didn't graduate from Harvard Law. It's because I did absolutely none of this. I'm going to have you removed from the court. Go ahead. I don't need this. You, you're sentenced me for, to a crime I didn't do, and I can show you, and you won't let me allocute. Have I'll be back. There. You know have that. There. You're done. Counts 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. It is the sentence of this court the defendant be remanded to the custody of the Michigan Department of Corrections for a period of life without parole, no days credit. You're to pay restitution in the amount of five thousand dollars, four hundred and eight uh, to the state of Michigan. The detective knows four hundred eight dollars state court, court costs. How is that allowed? One hundred and thirty dollars. Page three fifty six, three fifty seven. He knows I didn't kill nobody. That's his words. Piece. He swore under oath. Counts. And two, I can tell you everything what happened. Four, but they won't let me speak. Six, eight, ten, and twelve. It is the sentence of this court that he be remanded to the custody of the Michigan Department of Corrections for a period of two years with credit for 628 days served on each of those counts to be served consecutive with the preceding two counts 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. There's $408 state court costs associated with that. Counts 13 and 14. It is a sentence of this court that he be remanded to the custody of the Michigan Department of Corrections for was a period there of 38 guns? months to 60 months with credit for 628 days. Why is there days four credit? unknown DNA? But my DNA is $36 state Why? court. I've count. never been in that Warren Holes that count home a 15. day in my life. Ever. Never. It is Not a sentence once. of this court that he be remanded to the custody of the Michigan can. Department of Corrections because they know for a period they did of 38 months. months. <laughs> To 120 it's absolutely months disgusting with credit how they're for 628 days conducting their trials back in honesty. <clears throat> he is entitled to appellate review absolutely. of his conviction and sentence by by right. This was a jury conviction. I have surveillance six months from proof. day of sentencing to request I'm a court appointed attorney. He's being That's not even the footage. They doctored it. That he is to utilize for purposes. Six months from day to receive a form from conviction to request a court appointed attorney. You can hand form you should use if you want the court to appoint you an attorney. Do you acknowledge receipt of the form? Yes, I do. The bond is canceled, it has been canceled. That concludes this matter. Folks, I appreciate your endurance through this process. No.